Check it out, it's not dinner time. Well, not for me anyway. Uh, <laughs> I actually, uh, my wife and I had a kind of like a late lunch, early dinner before she went to work. So I'm still full. Uh, we had in and out in and out burger. Oh, it was so good. And I'm still so full. And that was hours ago. So I'm probably going to skip you know, an actual dinner this evening, but I went and picked up a Happy Meal for my daughter. Um, and I'm just showing this actually for, for one reason. Um, it's a bit of a rant. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know how many times I've ordered this Happy Meal. I get her the four piece McNugget Happy Meal with apple slices fries and apple juice and countless times countless times they've forgotten the apple slices it's just a good thing that i started learning to check as i'm still at the drive through so i can say hey where's my damn apple slices I don't know why. Why? Because it's a, it's a side. It's a side. You can pick either apple slices or gogurt. It's a side. It's part of the damn Happy Meal. How do they just not? I'm. Uh, I feel sorry for all the people who are also. Or is it just me? It's just me. So anyway, that's really all I wanted to. I just wanted to rant about that. But while I'm at it, um, here's the toy. The the current toy. If you're gonna call it a toy is these books and um nothing exciting for happy meal toy collectors but as a father to a little girl to a toddler a little tot um these are actually pretty cool um i i want this one the the pete the cats uh got class book the most she likes the pete the cat this this isn't the first time they've had these series of books um so I do want to get that, but what's pretty cool, and anyway, you know what, while I'm at it, if you wanted a seafood, there you go, some fries, again I ordered it with no salt, so that uh, you get fresh fries, it takes a little longer sometimes, you know, a few minutes, so if you're in a hurry, you definitely don't want to do that, and some nuggets, what the hell is that, this looks raw, man, this McDonald's is messing up tonight. Um, but here's what I also want to show you guys. Um, the next Happy Meal, right there, boom. Lego Ninjago movie. So I don't know, uh, about a month from now. Uh, for that, I'm excited for the Lego Ninjago movie. Um, so I, I definitely, I probably won't get to see the movie while it's in theaters, but I'll definitely want to collect those uh those Happy Meal toys. Um. And like I said, I didn't get food, but I did get a couple things to, to get me through the night because after I put my daughter to sleep, um, I do want to stay up and uh, get some work done and stuff. So I got a, an iced coffee, French vanilla, as always. Hope they got the flavoring right because I've mentioned it before. It's, it's hit and miss with McDonald's. Other fast foods like um, Jack in the Box, Burger King, for example, I get their iced coffees. It's, it's almost always exactly the same and just always right the flavors is right and <laughs> mcdonald's i guess it depends on who's making it it's always it always varies but more often than not it's it's not enough of the 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 flavoring so i gotta add good thing i always have my own um and a little uh strawberry banana smoothie i guess this is kind of sub for my dinner just just to still have a little something so anyway that's that there's Alexa Bliss in the background. That's my new kind of thing sitting here on my on my table, view table, whatever. Now, um, I'm going to go feed my daughter. And then I got some hauls to share with you guys. Yeah, I didn't mention it from the start, but you probably already knew. If you clicked on the video and saw the title, this is a haul vid. And bam, haul time. Um, but actually, before I move on to these... Um, Okay, so I ranted earlier. Uh, there was a couple more rant-worthy things. Um, another pet peeve. 
when they forget to pack napkins. There was no damn napkins. I mean, you know, I was eating at home anyway, and I have napkins at home, but still. They should, you order food, you take out food, it's just, you know, it's got to come with napkins. That and the iced coffee. Yeah, it was one of those times where it was not great. There was just, it lacked the vanilla flavor. Again, luckily I have my own to add and, and make it taste better, but I shouldn't have to. Oh well, it is what it is. That's McDonald's for you. Anyway, I got not one, but two Amazon packages here. So uh, let's get into this first one right here. open all right bam so all right um first of all thanks to bc for giving me the heads up um i hadn't i hadn't picked up any um well, okay, I had picked up some Marvel Legends not too long ago, but if you've been following, uh, I basically haven't been picking up as many Marvel Legends uh, lately as I have in the past. Um, so, but I, I did get the the fairly recently, but I think it was probably even nearly about a month ago now when I got um, the Netflix Daredevil uh, as well as Elektra and Punisher. Um, but, but that's pretty much it. And then, um, so this is my first new one in a, in a little while. Um, again, thanks to BC for the heads up that this was only like fourteen twenty with, um, prime shipping on Amazon. So I decided, you know what, I'll go ahead and grab them for that price. You know, um, I'll worry about the rest later. I did definitely want to, want to collect this whole wave, but you know, I'm, I'm in no rush. They'll be around for a while. And you know, mostly I'm trying to get them uh, for less than retail, except for maybe um, Jane Foster, Thor, and Ares. You know, I think those are two are the um, the kind of hot ones and or hard to find ones, and might be, you know, might be far fetched to to think that those will be less than retail. But to I at least want to try to grab them at retail price. Um, you know, it, it won't be till much later that I decide. You know, okay, it's they're gone from retail. If I have to pay a little over, then I'll pay a little over. But for now, um, I'm gonna try to wait to get those at retail price. But this store right here, now I haven't seen the movie. Um, I'll, I'll probably buy it as soon as it comes out on on Blu-ray DVD. But um, still, oh, this guy looks cool. Looks really cool. And it comes with <laughs> it looks like Hulk's severed head uh and the helmet, but you know the the build a figure pieces um so yeah, glad I've gotten this one for less than fifteen bucks, definitely worth a you know an instant pickup at that price so uh again, looks really cool. I will be definitely will be reviewing this one and then. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep this a brief story, but long story short. Um, so originally, I refused to collect the six inch Black Series figures because, you know, I have a, a large, you know, long time collection of the four inch figures. And like, why, why start on them in another scale? Um, and then, was it late last year or the year before? I forget exactly. Um, I think it was it was last year, but uh, anyway, I just <laughs> I got into them, and not as big time as Marvel Legends, but I I built up a collection pretty fast. Just not as big time, meaning you know I only got so far. I don't know. I I, I might have gotten around twenty figures. I think I want to think less than that though. Uh, and then I decided again, I was like, you know what, I just, I can't do it. I can't do it with these six inch, you know, Star Wars figures. So I sold all of them. Well, almost all of them. I kept literally only two. 
Darth Vader, and Ahsoka. And now... <laughs> I, I'm... I'm I'm kind of recollecting. Now, not recollecting like, oh, I'm going to go and, and buy all the ones that I let go of because I want them again, but I'm, I'm just kind of opening myself to, to collecting, you know, six-inch Star Wars again. Um, but I'll be very selective. Uh, it'll be kind of like, it'll be a very small cast of characters and just, you know, some some favorites and, and really must-haves. Um, and this is the first one I'm going to try. If I like it, you know, because I, I, I could also end up not liking it and be like, you know what, forget it. <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to go through with this. But um, if I end up liking it, uh, I might want to arm and build this uh, Stormtrooper, at least two, three, maybe six at the most. But that's a lot of money. I probably I probably won't. So that is those. Now there's this here to, to give you guys an idea of how big this box is. Can barely um, fit in the frame without going too far from the table. But let's go ahead and... Oh, hi Alexa Bliss, how are you? <laughs> let's cut this open. Show you guys what we've got in here. Oh, I guess I didn't Cut that well enough. Ho 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 ho. Get a look at that. Alright, these flaps are in the way. There it is. <laughs> it's the Mattel WWE. Elite Collection Raw Main Event Ring with exclusive Goldberg figure. Check that out. Um, this is my first time owning an authentic scale ring. Pretty cool to have one in a nice size. And I only had one other one, Mattel one, before. Really underscaled, but you know. It, it was what it was. Um, but yeah, check that. Oh, oh, it lights up. Even the apron. I don't know if it does that on all four sides, but I would hope. Yeah, I w <laughs> it wouldn't make sense if uh, the ring posts and the apron didn't light up on, on all four sides. Pretty damn cool. On the back of the package, you got a better look at the action going on around this ring. Love <laughs> this setup that Mattel did for the uh, uh, packaging. And look at all the, the stuff going on in the audience as well. That is cool stuff. Oh, what's cool about this is, aside from the ring itself, the authentic scale ring, there's also... Stairs, announce table, and I don't know if it has one or yeah, two chairs. Two chairs plus these kind of flight stands. I don't know exactly what they call them here, but you know, it's kind of like a flight stand, you know, to do some action jumping off the ring. Oh, that is that is just cool stuff. But of course, one of the uh. The biggest draws of this playset is the first time in the line exclusive Goldberg figure, and it is elite articulation. I mean, it's just awesome to finally, after how many years, how many years, almost 10 years of Mattel WWE, and it took this long. To finally get a Goldberg. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's that's just cool. That's just cool. There you have it. Uh, that's my haul. As always, hope you guys enjoyed. And thanks for watching.